Hey y'all, I'll try number two here, making a video. Uh, welcome back to the Roadhouse. I saw Troy did some homemade nachos, well, they look good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do them my way, I'm going to make some nachos my way, and uh, I'm going to show y'all what we got here. So, Hang loose, you're going to like this. I'll show you what we're going to use. We're going to use we've got uh four bags of shredded cheese it's, uh two cups each eight ounces what have you and uh we got some of the four cheese mexican uh some pepper jack here we got some of the uh sharp cheddar a little taco seasoning mix of course you gotta have you some chips uh three pounds of ground meat a few green onions Sour cream, hot jalapenos, one, you know, small to medium regular onion, and some uh, nice chunky salsa. So, we're going to check this out. Let me get this stuff opened up. We're going to brown our meat first. I'm going to cut up a few onions, get that in the pot. And uh, so we'll get that going. And we're going to check on it here in just a minute. All right, gang. Welcome back. Uh, got my regular white onion cut up. I'm fixing to do my, my green onions, but check this out. Let me show y'all. Got my ground meat going here. We we'll get that getting a little happy in the pot right there. And after that's browned through and through, what we gonna do here is we're gonna we're gonna pull that out. We're gonna pull that out of the pot. Set it to the side. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna cook all the, you know, water and junk out of there. Might just strain some off. But uh, I'm gonna leave a little bit in there. I'm gonna throw them onions in there and let them caramelize. You know, get translucent, what have you. So let me get all this going while this finishes brown. I'm gonna finish cutting my little onions up, and uh, we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> all right, y'all. The ground meat's just about it's brown. I'm just letting some of that some of that juice cook out of there and uh, like I said, I'm going to reserve a little bit, I'm going to pull the meat out, save a little bit of that juice and uh, I did add just a splash of Worcestershire uh, no salt or anything yet because I'm going to put the uh, actually three pounds of ground meat I find that uh, you know, it's, you might call it cheating but hey it works you know, I ain't uh, trying to be all fancy like Troy, I'm just trying to get some good eats cooked so I can eat and uh, anyway <laughs> Anyway, uh, love you, Troy. Anyway, uh, I use, uh, you know, just whatever kind of taco, mild taco seasoning mix. Two packs of that to three pounds of ground meat. Uh, put one pack, it's kind of, to me, it's kind of bland. Uh, so we're going to do that and uh, get this finished up. Let me get my, my onion sweating down. Man, I tell you, you can't beat, you can't beat fresh. Look at that. That's all right, huh? Just one onion. And uh, this here is just regular, you know, I think four or five, maybe six stalks of green onion. Just, y'all know how to do that. We ain't no rookies around here. Anyway, catch you back in just a sec. All right, y'all, we're back. We got the ground meat out of there. We're going to just, just got a little bit of, just enough, let a uh, little, little juice to cover the bottom of the pan. We're going to throw all these nice smelling onions in here. Let them sweat down a little bit. Soak up all that goodness there. We're going to get that going. Hang on that now. I'm trying to get away from it. And uh, we're going to do that. We'll catch you here in a minute. All right, y'all. We're back. We got the uh, we got the onions dead. Nice and translucent. So uh, we're going to leave that on the burner right there. Trim it back. Turn it off, what have you. Because everything's already cooked. So we're going to do this. We'll turn that sucker off. We're 
we're going to dump the ground and meat back into this right here. Alright. Get on out of there. Let's get that junk out of the way. Alright. Then we're going to mix this in with the onions and the green onions. And the last step of this. And that looks and smells good already. Just wait till we put this taco seasoning in here. It's going to make it pop. Remember, guys, two packs of this stuff. Three pounds of ground meat. We're going to put both of these in there. Troy says don't use the package, but you know what? I don't have all that other stuff that he's got yet, as far as some spices and all of that. So we're just going to do that. And uh, we're going to get that mixed in. Get all folded in. And the, meat, it might, the meat might look a little dry, but it's not. It's, it's still got a little juice in it. Let's get this all mixed up in here. Get it all folded in, mixed up real good. Man, I wish y'all could smell this. Can I tell you, it smells good. I'm working on it. We're working on it, Troy. I think that's mighty fine. Get this mixed up, y'all. that and uh, actually guys that does look that looks pretty nice to me I mean you got all your onions and your seasoning and stuff and it smells awesome so uh, and and two what I like to do uh, I don't do my nachos like Troy does but let me show you what I use got a you know one of these deep baking pans right here and uh, you know just typical deep dish and I'll take my chips and I'll layer the bottom of the pan and then I'll put the ground meat on that and uh, three or four different kinds of cheese on there and just keep layering it up. So you got chips, meat, cheese, chips, meat, cheese. Which is fine with me because I like meat and cheese and chips. So let me uh, get this rolling here and let me get a layer done started and I'm going to be right back. All right, y'all. We're back, and uh, so you can see I'm doing my my layers of meat here. Pot's still kind of hot, so uh, you know, just you don't have to cover every chip because when it's in, uh, it'll be all right. But after I layer this up, I'm gonna preheat my oven, 325, 350, somewhere in there. And uh, what we're going to do, after we get this built, we're going to put that bad boy in the oven and let all the cheese and everything get happy with the meat. So, just take a sprinkle of cheese on there. And me, I like a lot of cheese, man. Do some of that. That's the four cheese Mexican. And we're going to go with some of this shredded pepper jack right there. So it don't have to be perfect because uh, it's, it's all going to melt anyway. Then some soft cheddar. And you know, cheddar makes everything better. It really does. Now you could add your jalapenos and sour cream and whatever else you want to put and you cook all that stuff together. But I like to put mine on top. You know, I like to put it on top. After it comes out the oven. So... We're going to do that and uh, take another layer of chips and just lay them bad boys in there just like that. That's all you got to do. Quick, easy meal. Pretty, 
Get a chip like that. Look. Just do that with it. We ain't trying to be fancy. We're just trying to line the pan so we can stack some more stuff on it, right? Right. So, no, another one now. Okay. Cool. But uh, I'm gonna get this built up, y'all, and uh, get it ready to go in the oven. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Check this out. That's what I call a freaking full pan of nachos. I actually end up making three, three layers of this. So we're gonna chunk this in the oven. Uh, 325, 350. However, your uh, my oven cooks a little hot, so I back mine down. It's called 350. I back it off 25 degrees. You know, we ain't no rookies here. But we're gonna throw this junk in the oven, and uh, we're gonna let it roll. For about, uh, I guess about 15, 20 minutes. I check it. I usually check mine after about 10 minutes, and uh, see how it's doing. You know, just a regular bake, not pro or nothing like that. Uh, unless you want to burn your cheese up, which hey, do what you got to do. Anyway, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna get a peek here in a minute. All right, y'all, we're back. I'm still trying to find a camera, man. So you know, bear with me. Anyway. 15 minutes this batch took. I used uh, all four bags of the uh, two cups of cheese, you know, and uh, three pounds of ground meat, one uh, white onion, uh, five or six little stalks of green onion, and uh, y'all saw, you know, what I did. Cooked everything up, got it incorporated, layered my chips, meat. Lots of cheese, man. Three layers. So check this out. It came out good. 15 minutes on on this uh, little heating. So uh, we got that there. Dang, look at that. That is so nice. Man, I wish I could smell this. It's awesome. Anyway, uh, I'm going to let it set for a second, and then we're going to plate this bad boy up. So that being said, we'll see you in a minute. Hey y'all, we're back. Let the uh, nachos cool off about 10 minutes or so. So let's uh, pan over here. I'm gonna cut into this bag, but we're gonna plate some of this up. Tell you what, man, you talk about looking good, smelling good. Dang, I wish y'all had some. Easy recipe though. good and see the, the chips are softened up a little bit too I mean it's still got some crunch to it got a little bit of that uh, crusty little burnt cheese on the side there let's see how we did here oh, what man look at that that's what I'm talking now that's what I'm saying you see that that's me right there oh, look at that isn't that pretty on the ooey gooey cheese, we're gonna plate this bad boy right here. Put that right there. As uh, somebody's trying to call, they can wait. Anyway, we're gonna do this, and uh, I like to put a little, little sour cream on here, like that. salsa on there too about like that most time I just put it all over you know it's gonna get happy in my belly anyway and you gotta have jalapenos you know you can handle that kind of stuff hey if you can't stand the heat get out the kitchen so see where we at babe all right Get a little zoom again on this here. Mm-hmm. We're gonna check that out. Too much moonshine, back it off. Anyway. Couple of slices of jalapeno, if I can get one out of there. Mm-hmm. One more for good measure. 
get the endorphins up. You know what I mean? I said endorphins. Get your mind out of the gutter. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got right here. Yeah, I know the cat wants some too. But uh, there you have it, folks. That's my homemade nachos, you know. And I think we're going to be all right with this, you know. So let's, uh, let's give her a taste. See how we did right here. Let me back this out. Mm-hmm. And we're going to do dots. I use that fork, that ain't gonna hurt nothing. Give me a little jalapeno, a little bit of all of this here. Oh yeah, baby. Man, what? You talk about. Yeah, cat wants some too. You want some of daddy's nachos, babe? Hmm? I know you do. I'll mess you up, man. There you go. Nice little bite right there. Hmm. She fussing at me. She's ready to eat. Hang on just a minute. Yeah, she wants some. Oh, where you at? Hang on. Let me get you on camera. There you go. Bad thing. Anyway, it's like everything I cook. But uh, thank y'all for coming to the Roadhouse. And uh, we're going to finish eating this. Man, that's good. Troy, that's what I'm talking about. Try that. Anyway. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for serving. We'll see you soon.